Hi guys, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Ah! Hey! Today I thought I'd do a little bit of a house decor video, I guess. Um, I've been really liking different quirky like home decor lately. So I've been doing a few arts and crafty things and just buying different little things that I think are quite quirky. So I thought I'd show you those kind of talk about how I made some of them and also I wanted to make some fake cakes to put up on the wall somewhere so I thought I would film that Harley's down there in the sun with Tammy um but yeah first thing thing is these um I think they're squash rackets I got the squash rackets from the op shop um, probably like what, five dollars each or something and we pinned them up on the wall and then I just pegged some Polaroids to it mini pegs quite cute um, that's just in the entry to the lounge so you come in from the hallway walk 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 and you see them right there um, and then that, I guess that brings us to this side I'll just turn the light on Oh, so these were some things that I made with cam blank canvases and I just went to Spotlight and picked out some different fabrics that I like um, and stapled them to the canvases. So that one is like a giant uh, gummy bear, quite cute, little planes, mini tennis balls because we see dog fabric so and this one's just little mini pegs so that was just something that I did um oh, I also did a, a Lego one but it's currently hiding a hole in the wall so yeah that can just stay like that I got this from the op shop as well just for the meantime for that wall it's in front of the toilet um, yeah, I don't know. It's just there until we figure out what we want to do, but it's quite cute because it's got dogs, sheep, little boy drinking some water. So, yeah. So down here I have this cute little balloon dog thingy. I would love a bigger one, but they're very expensive for any bigger than this. Um, I got this ice cream from the op shop and it was... You can kind of see it was like a normal ice cream colour you can see under there because I didn't get all of it. But I just spray painted it light pink because, I don't know, we're going through a bit of a pastel um, theme. Same with that frame over here with Harlow's photos. It was a black frame and I just spray painted it baby blue. The strawberry vase, vase I got, um, it's quite mini as well but it's quite cool. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, I've just put a pen in there at the moment but I'll probably put some sort of flower or something when I find a place for it. Over here on the table I have these mini little um, strawberry candles which are really cute. I need to find a little dish to put them on. Um, at the moment they're just there on the table so they're quite cute and they look really real. Here in the kitchen I've got this painting that I got from the op shop that was also just a wooden frame so I just spray painted it baby pink um, and yeah I quite like it it's quite cute um, it's got little apples on it so it ties in being in the kitchen um, yeah so the biggest um, quirky thing that I've been getting compliments on when people come over are the cereal bowls that I made that I saw someone that I follow on TikTok make. Um, oh, it's a bit right, but so that's cornflakes, uh, Nutri-Grain, and like Cocoa Pops, whatever they're called. I really wanted to do Fruit Loops, but I couldn't find them at the supermarket, and I didn't want to drive to like the warehouse or whatever. But, yeah, basically, basically what I did to make those was I got a bowl from the $2 shop, a plastic spoon, um, and I got filler, it's called spackle, but I'm not sure, uh, this, this is what I got, actually, 
um, filler, multi-purpose filler, and it's just white. It's normally used to fill gaps and stuff um, when you're renovating. So I got that, which is the milk looking part. The white bit is the filler. I got epoxy resin, a little kit from Bunnings. Kobe, naughty. Drop it. He's eating one of Harlow's toys. Stop, give it. Naughty. Um, yeah, so I got epoxy resin from Bunnings and what I did was I put, filled the bowl with um, polystyrene to make, to fill it up before putting the filler in. So I glued those on, put the filler over the top of the polystyrene um, to make it look like milk. Um, I mixed the cereal, it's real cereal from our cupboard. I mixed um, the cereal with the epoxy resin um, in a bowl and then poured it on top of the filler and then let it dry for 24 hours and it dries rock hard so that like really hard um, and yeah it's obviously gonna probably mold over a few years or something but I can't imagine we'll probably keep them that long anyway um, so yeah that's how I did it um, I was pretty rushed explaining that but if you have any questions let me know and if you make it um, send me a photo another thing that I ordered that are um, out of focus <laughs> they're not too crazy but like they're pretty cute little magnet magnets magnets an egg bread ice cream I don't know they're just kind of cute add a little quirk to the fridge I guess <laughs> This is um, the last thing that I'll show you is this cherry, um, can you even see, cherry toilet brush, just get it out. we haven't used it yet, um, it's quite a good size I think, not too big, not too small, it's just something different for the toilet, speaking of the toilet, <laughs> toilet is Toilet and bathroom are pretty much the only rooms that we haven't redone in the house So we're still gonna strip the wallpaper Repaint it everything like that. So we thought in the meantime we would just have Some sharpies here and it says draw on me and people who come over can just draw on the wall If, you f if it focuses um, Me and Jake play knots and crosses um, people have done some little drawings, Willow was here, <laughs> and yeah, it's just something different um, in the meantime before we um, redo the toilet, Hannah fam, I did those little ones, and that one, got your back, and yeah, that is about it. So that's basically everything so far, a quick little run through, um, I'm out of breath now, that was really fast, but let me know if you have any questions of things that you saw, um, yeah, that was pretty rushed because I've got to get Harlow to have a nap now, but I think um, in this video we're going to make those cakes, so I'll see you in the next clip. Hello! You're so cute! You're so cute! It's nearly crawling, eh? Tammy likes to <coughs> sit there and just watch Harlow. Kobe, what are you doing? Hi! We also have this elephant that's quite different, but we've had that for years, so... Hi. Can you bounce? Can you bounce? A quick hello update. Well, she's jumping in the chilly jumper. Um, she is seven months old tomorrow. Hey. Hey. She's seven months old tomorrow. She is nearly crawling not quite she can clap um, and she can wave and say mama and dada 
So she's done a lot of learning in her first seven months, haven't you? Can you wave? Ah! You want to show up or not? Hello. Good girl. Hello. We don't have any, um, sorry, good off. Any what? Mortgage doesn't go out this time, we're going to next time. So I have these fake cherries and lemon pieces because I'm going to do a cherry one and a lemon one. Oh. So I'm going to do a pink cake with white icings and the cherries and then a white cake with yellow icing bits and the lemons. I'm going to do the pink one first. So I don't know how much I'm going to need for each cake. So I've mixed some food colouring into the filler. I made a light pink. I don't know how much I need to cover this cake, so we'll see how that goes. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, let's try ice this cake. Looks like I might need more. I don't know actually, we'll see. We'll see. Where's that thing? I've got this. I don't know, I'm not really a cake expert, so I don't really ice many cakes in my time. Oh, it's so potent. <coughs> Stinks. How do you do the bottom? Like, how do you seamlessly ice these things? Okay. Okay, so I finally iced it. I wasn't sure, like, because I did it pretty smooth and then it didn't look like a cake, so I've roughed it up. Maybe a little bit too much. Um, but yeah, the whole thing's covered in icing. So I guess now I need to do the um, icing dollops and cherries now, and then it will be done. Okay, something went wrong with the memory card, but I did film me doing the first bit of icing and practicing and stuff, and then I've done the first one and put the cherry on. So, ooh. Okay, I don't know how funny that looks, but that's the first one. I don't know if I'm going to do four. No, I should probably do five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay, now I need to try to do the next one. Yeah? One, two, three, four, five, five six. six. Yeah. Yeah? Yep. Nice. Really nice. Ooh. Nice. That stuff is potent. Yeah. So this is the finished product. I can't lift it up, but it's got all the cherries, the cream. the next day um harlow has just gone down for a nap so i thought i'd try and get at least some of this cake done i'm gonna do little oh, um lemon cake so i'm thinking i'm gonna do the icing a little uh, um slight yellow and then the little um cream bits like this one 
this this bit's this cake's pink with white cream and cherries. I'm gonna do a little bit of a yellowy icing with white cream and then the lemon. Um, so I'm gonna try and mix the yellow with this yellow dye. Probably won't need much. And see how we go. Um, let's get started. I've um, solid tape, double taped it to this so that hopefully I can just, I don't know, try to do it. It was quite fiddly with that one, um, trying to hold it and stuff. So let's see how we go. I've got the rest of this fella. It stinks so bad. Um, so I don't know how much I need, but I'm just going to spoon it in. Probably need the rest of most of this. Oh. So now I'm gonna do the food coloring and try get just a slight yellow. I don't want too yellow. I have no idea how much I need to put. I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time. So here we have, it's like a slight tinge, you see it's not white, it's just a tinge. Okay, I don't know, this is, this is the fiddly part, I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do the sides first so that I can hold the top, you know what I mean? Just put a little bit on, test it out. Okay, so I haven't done much, but I just want to say, in case anyone's going to do it, I find, I'm find i actually finding it easier to spread it with a knife rather than this big thing because um, it was quite big to hold, but this knife's like nice and little. Okay, so I've iced the whole cake. It's like, you know, not smooth, but I feel like it looks more realistic if it's not perfectly smooth, and also that one's really quite not smooth either. So... Yeah, I think I'll just leave it like this. Um, but my problem is, I was going to do white icing on the top with the lemon. But I've got this much left over, so I'm like, I don't want to waste it. So I may as well just do it. But I kind of want the cream to look like cream. I don't know. Let's see what it looks like. Is this even enough? Maybe I will use the white stuff. Okay, so I have the white stuff now. Let's do, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, I'm pretty sure, five, yeah. So I got five lemons, so I need to do one, two, three, four, five. Hopefully, I space it all right. Okay. Okay. First one. to be quite big because the lemon piece has to like be able to sit in it you know and not fall and how do I want the lemons just like that or can I just do that like that that'll be alright right Okay, so I've put the cream and lemons on. I think I've butchered like the spacing of it, but like look, there's a big gap there. Oh. Okay, I moved it over. Um, it's still a bit, they're all a bit iffy, but I feel like it looks fine. Okay, so I went around with the extra icing that I didn't want to waste. Um, because these weren't even, there was lots of gaps around the edge, bigger gaps, smaller gaps. So I got this um icing one that i hadn't used before and did around the edges it's like not perfect but you know it gives a different 
I don't know, it just covers some of the gaps that were there. And yeah, I think it looks better like that anyway. So here's both the cakes done. So I'm thinking they're either going to go up there or up there, but because you know, dining table makes sense to have cake somewhere, maybe up there or up there or up there. I'm not sure yet. The cakes are up on the pantry, that's where they are going to be. <laughs> so that is the end of this video thanks for watching um if you have any questions about cereal bowls cakes whatever um let me know and yeah thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one